It's been an incredible start to this year's Sydney to Hobart race. The top contenders zigzagging extremely close to each other as they duelled it out across the harbour. The yachts have been making good progress down the coast, but tricky conditions lie ahead tonight. Under grey skies and on top of dark waters, the yachts made their dash down Sydney Harbour. I feel it's going to be close. The 108 strong fleet zigzagging across the calm waters, battling each other, but also later, the elements. Wild Oats timing it to perfection with the early advantage before smooth sailing from Perpetual Loyal and Comanche saw them gain the upper hand, neck and neck gliding through the Sydney heads before Comanche unfurled its spinnaker, tearing ahead and out into the open water. Not everyone made it out though. Two collisions meant a very early end for Cougar 11, Looper of London and Chinese Entry Arc. Spectators packed the harbour on boats and even canoes. Others picked any dry spot they could find with vantage points brimming with spectators. But this stunning sight wasn't without careful, meticulous preparation. A packed crowd farewelled Perpetual Loyal. Star recruit, former Australian cricket captain Michael Clark, leaving behind his wife Kylie and new baby daughter. I said I'll just listen and do as I'm told and hopefully I can try and help the boys out with uh, with my work ethic on the boat um, to try and help the team have success. Joining him, Channel 9's Erin Molan. A tad nervous. <laughs> a tad is um, being very generous. Skipper Anthony Bell receiving a good luck kiss from his family while it was all business on Comanche. Supermodel Christy Hins this year joining the crew. I'm feeling good. Obviously a little bit nervous but more so about just leaving my kids for two days. Comanche looking to avenge last year's narrow defeat. <laughs> for the smaller boats, the preparation no less intense. Okay, number two. It was last minute folding, rigging, hoisting, hull checks and team talks. Pretty soon the yachts were off and away. A 628 nautical mile journey to Hobart's Constitution Dock. While the Super Maxis jostle for prime position here on Sydney Harbour, many will be pushed to the limit out of the heads with wild weather expected later tonight. Defending Line Honours champion Wild Oats 11 has plenty to lose. None more so than a ninth Sydney to Hobart win. We've been here before, we've been against boats before, we've been pushing at night and um, you know, a good sailing and, and, and they've failed, you know, because they've had major failures. So it's really important to just uh, conserve the boat and, yeah, as I said, be there tomorrow morning. And Vicky is here to talk us through the current standings and conditions tonight. Vicky, so who is out in front? Well, Pete Comanche is currently leading, followed by Wild Oats 11 and Ragamuffin. But it's going to be a difficult night for crews. They've contended with moderate to fresh northeasterly winds throughout the day, but between 9 and 11 o'clock tonight, that is set to change. There is a complete shift in direction and speed. There'll be strong southerly winds, possibly reaching gale force along the New South Wales coast, hitting speeds of up to 65 kilometres an hour. And it's not just the wind they'll have to contend with. The red, orange and purple in this image indicates rough seas with waves reaching heights of up to four metres. So a tough few hours ahead, Pete. All right, Vicky, thank you. There is a lot going on, though, most there of it, it with respect to the Sydney to Hobart, isn't mm. there? Something like 14 yachts? Yeah, what a dramatic start. Mm. 14 yachts pulling out uh, just in that first night. Incredible mm. wild weather. Our own Erin Molan yeah. on board Perpetual Loyal won't make it to Hobart. Yeah, we wished her well. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't wish her well enough. Mm. Uh, but she did give it a go and everyone's safe. It's just unfortunate that the yacht isn't. But anyway, we'll talk yeah. a little bit more about that a little later in the show. There's cricket as well. The uh, MCG test is going very, very well for Australia. But Tim Gilbert is going to have all that covered for us. But uh, let's get straight into the news now with Jane. All right, well, it has been a dramatic opening night in the Sydney to Hobart with 14 yachts, including Super Maxi contenders Wild Oats 11 and Perpetual Loyal forced to retire from the race. Weekend Today reporter Jessica Tancred joins us live from Woolwich Dock. Jess, what caused this mass exodus? 
Well, Jane, the culprit is that stiff southerly that really is wrecking havoc for the boats battling it out in this year's Sydney to Hobart. As you said, we're here at Woolwich Dock where eight-time winner Wild Oats 11 is due to sail back in at some stage this morning. Now, in a statement issued just after 10 o'clock last night, the Super Maxi said they were pulling the pin due to a torn mainsail. Now, this was believed to have happened off the New South Wales south coast thanks to a strong gust of wind. Also feeling the brunt of that t terrible southerly was perpetual loyal with our very own Aaron Molan and also former Test cricket captain Michael Clark on board. They have pulled the pin due to, due to a broken rudder. So with perpetual loyal and uh, Wild Oats 11 out, that's 14 retirements and leaving a field of 94 boats left to battle it out. But look, if those conditions can, we continue to see those conditions with winds of up to 44 knots, we're likely to see more retirements throughout the day. Jane. All right, Jess, we will cross back to you later and see if any of those boats uh, make it back to Sydney.